Okay, so now we're looking at part two of our exponent notes, and these are rational exponents. So remember, the nth root is the same as a radical. So the square root of five, there's an imaginary two up here for square root. That's the same as five to the one half. And a to the one over n becomes the nth root and has to be a positive integer. We also have the nth root of a power, so the cube root of 36 is the same root, same as the cube root of 6 squared, so we know that the 3 is really 6 squared to the 1 third, and from our exponent rules we know these become a product, so we have 6 to the 2 thirds. More generally, we have the nth root of a to the m. m can be positive or negative n has to be positive, but this could be negative. Of course, if it's negative, it would make a fraction. So we're going to write as a single power of 2 down here for our first example. So this is the same as 2 to the first times 2 to the half. We know that we're going to sum these exponents, so we're going to get 2 to the 3 halves. Over here, this is going to be 16 to the 1 third. But I know 16 is the same as 2 to the 4th, to the 1 3rd is 2 to the 4 thirds.